Okay. Well, that was the most stressful game I've coached in as of yet. And I only, this is on my, only my second year as a head coach, so I know that's not saying too much. But uh, Mayor Ramsey, Ramsey's got a really good team. Um, so I just have to give them credit for just battling that out with us and just making us really work for every single point that we scored and defended in that game. Questions for coach or players? Coach, this is for you. Uh, talk about how your kids responded when Destiny fouls out. I mean, she was dominating the game, 17 points, 16 rebounds. But they showed a lot of toughness and continuing to handle the ball. They were getting pressured a lot and then making the free throws to ice the game. So what I love about the dynamic of Destiny this game is she had her spotlight, you know, before she fouled out. And she was really carrying us. Um, but, and Destiny won't mind me saying this, I know, you know, we, we, this group didn't play with her last year, and they know how to play. <laughs> they don't need her, um, and I think she's grateful for that. And we're thankful for Destiny and that she's on our team. Um, but, yes, absolutely, the rest of our team, they know how to play ball. And so um, they, they're tough, just like you said. They're mentally tough, and that was one of the challenges we gave them this game is just, just stay the course, and they did that. So, Coach, this is for you and then the point guard. Sorry, I can't remember your name. But – um, is this the most pressure you have faced all year from a team? As far as on-court pressure. Yes, for me. Girls? Um, yes, I think so. Um, uh, Hazel Green, we played them, and Hoover. And I would say those two teams probably – um, come close to their pressure, but they just don't get tired ever. <laughs> Ramsey doesn't. Uh, and so that was just tough. And just coming out the second half, you know, our, our first, our two games before that, I felt like we kind of outlasted the, those two teams. And this, you know, Ramsey, I knew they were not going to be getting tired at all. And so their pressure, and it even just like cranked up there at the end. So, um, so yeah, probably. <coughs> Nicole, yeah. Oh, yes. For me, this is, um, I mean, Okay, so like our coach said, uh, for me, this was one of the, like, games that I have experienced, like, the, like a lot of pressure along with, like, Hoover and Hazel Green. But I feel like Ramsey had um, better defenders, and it was a lot of pressure. So, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of pressure. Uh, Jade and Nikoya, talk about uh, your mindset once Destiny fouled out. Y'all hit, like, at least, I think, eight clutch free throws. So just talk about the mindset going into the game once Destiny was out. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, when she was walking over to the bench, I asked Amaya, like, what happened? Like, why is she leaving? And then Amaya was like, she fouled out. And I was like, oh, no. And then Amaya was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then Amaya was like, it's okay, we got it. So, like, that's, like, the type of team we have, like, when – like we face adversity, like we just, you know, group together and like, um, you know, just try to encourage each other and just trying to like, you know, keep pushing each other. So really it was just like, <coughs> just our confidence in ourselves, like, um, and like our confidence in one another that just like, you know, help us finish the game. Yeah, um, we always like prepare for the worst. So we know like any team's probably gonna try their best, probably like draw as many fouls against her as possible. So when she fouled out, I was just trying to like, to our team, we got to come together, and we have a lot of chemistry together. So uh, we just knew how big the free throws were for, like, how big of a game it was. So, Coach, from your coaching perspective, after your unforced loss, Destiny, to five fouls, that one, that one, that one pretty much lived up to your expectations? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> they sure did. Um, we've got two here who – knocked down some free throws for for us. And um, Demaya, you know, she okay. didn't knock down her free throws, but we could not take her out of the game. Uh, we, we'll go down with her on the floor um, because she's taking care of the ball for us and playing defense, so. <laughs> Daniel, over here. Destiny, you're playing at such a high level the entire game. Just how tough was it to, to have to sit out those last couple of minutes? Um, it was tough, but at the same time, I don't want to bring bad energy while my team is playing at a close game. So as I got out, you guys saw I was trying to hype everyone up. So um, yeah, I mean, it was. I wish I could have played the last two minutes, but it just happened. So. <laughs> yeah. Coach Rod got into some some early foul trouble. Uh, 
did you guys have a particular scheme that's working well against her? As far as her being in foul trouble, uh, you know, it was interesting that they didn't play her the entire third quarter. Um, but I mean, it was pretty good strategy considering I don't, I think we were up by two going into the fourth quarter there. And so for us, that fourth quarter, you know, we're not trying to draw fouls against her necessarily. We're, <laughs> we're just trying to take care of the basketball, <laughs> rebound the basketball, and uh, just slow down slow down the speed of the game because it got going there pretty pretty fast so over here and this, is for, this is for Jaden you struggled offensively much of the game but of course your dad was a great player your brother how did you kind of keep the mindset to stay calm and be able to close the game out from the free throw line and handle the basketball uh, well um, before um, our game um, coach Blackson he coaches our boys team and um, he gave us a devotional about about just being selfless and like um, just about, you know, being a part of a team. And I just think that, you know, like that's a God thing. Like God kind of knew <laughs> what was going to happen to me. So he, you know, led Coach Blackson to say that. And like that really um, spoke to me the entire game. Like just trying to keep my head in the game, like regardless, because, you know, that's part of the game, having bad games. So um, like I'm just, try just trying <coughs> to focus on doing other things like playing defense and boxing out and rebounding. And just making sure, like, I'm hitting the people who, who are scoring, like, you know, like D. I and mean, making sure I'm finding the people who um, who are, like, producing for us. So. This is just for any of the players. Really kind of near the end of the game, it looked like Ramsey's defense was just following you every step you took. Talk to me about how important, you know, that ball control and staying in your head, staying focused is, and how that kind of mentality is going to help you all in the state championship coming up. Um, well, our coach, she's been putting us in a lot of good, like, situations. Like, she brings boys into practice with us to, for that kind of stuff. Like, they chase us like they, they, like they would chase us. So, I mean, we've been practicing for a week of just straight that. So, that kind of prepared us for this type of game. And it got us in the mindset for them track like that. Coach, we're going to take one more question and let you all get back with your team. Oh. Coach, uh, in what the reporters and broadcasters would call crunch time, Pivotal plays for your team, but to me, how pivotal was it that three by Nicoya late in the game to serve a purpose? I think that made three uh, speaks for itself <laughs> as far as our momentum. But the great thing about that game is, you know, Ramsey, they weren't giving up after that made shot. And I told Nicoya after the next time out I called, um, I was like, I'm so glad you knocked that down. And I said, but this game is, is getting up up speed very quickly and we got to slow things down a little bit but um you know we got players who make plays and so my favorite thing about coaching the team that i coach is that i'll look over at the sideline multiple times during a game and say i'm glad we called that and it was nothing i called it was just them going to make a play and that's the funnest part about coaching this team so i got to give glory to god for this game um it's pretty pretty humbling to be sitting here and be going back to the state finals so